Hey guys, today let's see how to fill up a deck log book. Depending on the company and the flag of the vessel, there are different formats of deck log books. But the information that needs to be filled in according to SALAS, SDCW, and merchant shipping regulations is pretty much the same. Instructions on what entries to make can usually be found on the front pages of the deck log book. There you can also find whether codes to use to fill in the appropriate boxes on the daily pages. There are also usually pages with a list of ports and list of crew that should be filled in. In practice, quite often the port of call and crew lists are attached on the relevant pages. So, let's look at the daily pages of the deck log book, where you have to make entries each watch. Let's pick one of the different formats for a while and let's get started. One part of the deck log book that every watch officer has to fill out contains information on weather conditions, ship's course, distances, and nautical remarks. This is the part we will cover in this video. The other part, concerning noon information, is usually filled out by the second officer. So, on each page you need to fill in the current day and date, the name of the ship, as well as the voyage number and port of departure and arrival. We will see this a little later. Usually all entries are made at the end of each watch, unless otherwise instructed by the captain. For example, in heavy weather, entries are made every hour. So, you should write down the following information. Time. Barometer readings. Air temperature. Sea water temperature, that is usually asked from engineers. Relative humidity, that is calculated by special table that is often printed on the hygrometer itself. Present weather. You have to write the code that you can find in the first pages of the log book. Wind, direction and force. See scale. You also have to use a scale on the first pages of the log book. Swell. Usually the direction and height are indicated. Ground track. Your course over ground or the course that is drawn on the chart, and you follow it. In most other log books it is called the true course. Correction for drift and leeway. You can use available means to take these readings. Variation. It is taken from the chart. Deviation. We'll calculate it a little bit later course steered. This is the heading of your ship, usually by gyro compass. Here you should indicate it. Helmsman. Here you have to indicate whether the vessel is on autopilot or manual steering. Magnetic compass steering. Log reading. Usually the total distance is taken starting from the beginning of sea passage. Distance made good. It is also usually you have to write total distance taken from the GPS. As for distances, this is discussed with the second officer. But in practice, he usually needs the total distances at noon to make his noon reports. Let's check another page of this deck log book. Here you have to fill in. Voyage number. The port the vessel is going from and the port the vessel is going to. Lookout. Here you should write down the name of your duty AB. Roll period. NPDS. National Pollution Discharge and Elimination System Vessel General Permit. If you are in US waters, it should be noted that appropriate checks have been carried out. These are indicated at the bottom of this page.
Remarks Here you should write what happens during your watch concerning navigation, cargo, safety of life at sea and safety of the vessel. Timings, positions, alteration of course, start or end of sea passage, pilot boarding, etc. Signature of the watch officer. Soundings of the bilges and empty tanks. As per chief mate instruction, the assigned OS can call you to report these readings. But usually there is a special tank sounding book that he fills out. So guys, let's quickly check out another log book format that you will meet even more often. It's actually almost the same thing, even simpler. Courses here are the true course, that is course on the chart. Gyro compass heading and magnetic compass heading. And you might also notice that you have to write compass errors here. And hand steering test. You have to write the time when you did this. Usually it is done at the beginning of the watch. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll see how to fill up new information in the deck log book.